Guess he stopped thinking about me. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what he's thinking when he says that he's been driving all night, all day to celebrate Christmas with me. But he's not here, and I'm not there. I don't know what he wants now. But I don't care. Yeah. Oh, 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 but today is my first day off for this Thanksgiving week. Um, it is about 8, let me see, 8.35, which is pretty early for a day off for me. But today I want to, first I'm going to blow dry my hair. I know the curls look nice, I should just leave them. But I kind of want to just blow dry it. I like to blow dry my hair for the holidays. I know you shouldn't embrace the curls, but... I don't know I just haven't blow dried in a while so I'm gonna do that and I'm also gonna be decorating my tree today so that should be exciting because I usually do it after Thanksgiving like Black Friday but I kind of prefer to just do it before so I don't know so we're gonna be doing that today in this video I'm also probably gonna film my apartment Christmas decor tour um I don't know yet I might save that for another day this week but yeah, I'm just gonna be like cleaning up a little bit, doing that. Might go to TJ Maxx, I'm not sure. They open at 9.30, so I'd rather go there kind of early, but we'll have to see. Like I would either have to go there before I do the tree in case I buy more stuff for the tree. Even though the tree isn't that big, it's pretty small. But so yeah, I'm gonna be blow drying my hair right after this. I'm gonna be using the new Revlon Volumizer Plus One Styler. <laughs> thing um i've been seeing it on tiktok a lot so i want to try it so i bought it and i could have just asked for it for christmas but i couldn't wait because i'm impatient so yeah that's what we're gonna do today i'm gonna finish sipping on this coffee this is the peppermint pinwheel flavor from nespresso and i thought i wouldn't like it because i usually don't like that like mint aftertaste in my coffee this is pretty good especially with the international delight frosted sugar cookie creamer the green one it's divine um this is so good definitely a nice wintry drink my cousin let me know that the new gingerbread flavor is out so i think i'm gonna grab a couple of those as well as another one of these i only got 10 of these i don't know why um i just thought i didn't like it so i so said you don't judge things by their cover um but yeah i'm gonna finish sipping on this and then i will catch up with you guys when i'm ready to do this main that's for sure oh, 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 he ain't ringing my bells no more oh, 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 he miss out on love and that's for sure I don't know what he wants now And I don't know why he said all the things he said to me He means nothing to me now not complain to drive all night all day to celebrate so guys as you can tell i kept with the curly hair just for today though i'll probably do it tomorrow in the morning or something but yeah i'm like today it's too nice like of course the day that i decided that i want to blow dry it it doesn't turn out the night it turns out the nicest when the other days when i want it to be curly and nice it just looks a mess so I'm just gonna leave it like this. We'll see when it fully dries. Anything could change after that, but I'll probably have to just re-wet it if I wanna straighten it. But yeah, I'm just gonna leave it like this. 
and I'm gonna just keep sipping my coffee and watch a little bit of YouTube until I decide if I wanna go to TJ Maxx. If not, we'll get started on decorating my tree. So yeah, and I also have to share a few items that I got from at home when I went there um, for the tree because I know you guys saw in my other video the decorating haul that I did for Christmas. Um, I got the Studio McGee ornaments that I was so happy I got my hands on but I wanted a few more even though the tree is very slim and sparse and narrow and tiny I'll see if I can make it work but I didn't just want those ornaments on there because I know some of them are kind of big so I don't know if I'll use all of them or save the big ones for like another Christmas tree if I ever move um because I'll this is not gonna be my permanent Christmas tree forever I definitely want a seven footer eight footer um more natural looking Christmas tree. Almost like the Hearth and Magnolia ones. I really wanted those, but for 200 and something dollars, I don't know, I couldn't do it. But yeah, so we'll do that next. Curly Fro is staying for now. If not, you'll see that a little bit later, but I'll still show a demonstration. So let me catch up on some of my YouTubers and I'll see you guys in 0.5 millimeters in a second. If that's how you count whatever smaller than a second I don't know so guys I'm going to get to decorate my Christmas tree I don't think I'm gonna to go to TJ Maxx today I'll probably go on the weekend or Friday um, so we'll see about that but before we get started I just wanted to share some of the um, other decor that I bought I actually went to at home this past weekend and I got a couple more ornaments to just fill up like certain areas of the tree um maybe because i don't know how it's going to turn out with the other ornaments that i got but first i just picked up these christmas ornaments they were 1.99 each and they're just this really pretty like bronzy color like very rustic style ornaments and i got four of those um just to add that little like goldish hint because i got these trees from the studio mcgee threshold line um and I feel like they really like tie in together. So I kind of wanted to add more of that color on there because I love that like very rusty color, um, especially during like the holidays. So I also got these ornaments, which are very fragile. Um, and these were $6.99 and they had these in a million different colors. Like I can't really hear that some of the pieces are probably broken, but luckily I won't be using all of them, but they're just this beautiful like, I don't know how you would describe the coloring. It's like an antique gold, rustic, I don't know, like that's the only word that I could think of when I see these, but they are so beautiful. And I feel like with these colors, it just looks so, I don't know, like, I can't even describe it. I don't know what the style was called, but that's what I'm going for. And then I also got these nine piece glass ornaments. Oh, these are glass also, I didn't know that. Um, and these were $4.99, so that's a great deal. And they had these also in a bunch of different colors. And this one is just like a champagne-y cream color, like a hint of like a yellow gold in there. You can't really tell on the camera, but I got these also just as like a filler ornament in case I want to add more if not these ornaments can be used for years to come so i'm definitely going to be using hopefully some of those um i already showed you some of these things i think this was just a gift tags that i got for some presents i'm not really doing like any red really except in my kitchen if you guys seen that decorate with me but you know it's still cute i got those from tj maxx i got my ornament hooks um I got the lights that I'm using. You guys seen these also, the like little bulb lights. So I'll be starting with that first. And then I got the Sensicles or Sensicles um, little sticks. I put three on already, but they only last 30 days. So probably by the time it's um, like the second week of December, I'll probably add the rest on there. But I could smell it. It's not super strong, but I could smell it quite a bit. And then I just have the... Studio McGee thrust hold ornaments, which as you can tell, they're pretty big. Like this is my hand size. So kind of nervous for this tree, but that's why I got the other ones. 
just in case the giant ones don't really work out i can use the other ones to kind of tie in so i'm gonna either put on like a fireplace or some christmas music or a christmas movie and do a time lapse of me just decorating and then i'll show you guys the final product so i have my coffee which i just spilled on the floor <laughs> But I still have enough for me to drink, so I'm going to sip on that while I'm doing this. And yeah, time to get festive. <laughs> Okay, so I just finished doing the tree. Let me turn that off before I get not even demonetized because I'm not there yet. But if you want to help me out, you can subscribe down below so I can make it to at least a thousand subscribers by Christmas. So just hit that subscribe button. Um, anyways, I just finished. I actually really love how this looks. I think it's one of my favorite decorated Christmas trees that I ever did. And yeah, I'm not gonna show you yet because I'm trying to figure out for the tree topper. I bought another one from at home. And honestly, I just think it's too big. So it is just this one and it lights up. It's like this like blush tone color. And I feel like it looks nice, but it's just giant. Like I don't think it could support, like the tree could support the weight of this. So I'm kind of like concerned about that. I also have one from last year, which is just like a black star. But I feel like I'm not really going with the black. Like the black right now isn't, it's gonna like darken up how the tree looks. So that's why I'm like, I don't know if I wanna do that right now. Like it looks lopsided, but I don't really like that and then it's like some people don't put tree toppers which is like fine but i also have these like star light things that i didn't know where to hang at all they're kind of big but they're very thin and it's like self-timered very pretty so i was thinking about doing like something like this let's see sticking it on top kind of like this making it work like it looks so like lopsided but it kind of works so i'm like if i can maneuver it to look better i'll do that but if not then i just won't have a tree topper which is fine unless i find something like in a store somewhere then i'll add that to the top but right now it's like it's fine without the tree topper so let me figure that out and then i will show you the final result after i clean all this mess up and show you the final tree Please don't let us know
Christmas tree. I am very happy about how it turned out. Sorry that it's the train. It's very loud. Um, I basically used all the ornaments except for like four of like the small ones because they were like more like a glittery color and I didn't really want that. I wanted more of the like antique looking ones. And for the like white creamish ones, these ones right here from at home, I didn't use like four of them as well because I felt like it was getting a little bit too crowded. I feel like this white one needs to be pushed in more a bit because it's sticking out a little bit too much for my liking. But yeah, I really like the way that this came out. I love these ones. I feel like it has that nice like rustic touch to it, an antique looking sort of tree. I do feel like in this section, something needs to be there. Maybe I'll add like maybe one of the sparkly ones right here, but it's just a little sparse for me. Um, as you can see, I did hook in the centicles right here, like along the stem of the tree or the trunk of the tree. And I kind of just want to like camouflage it in there so you can really see them like hanging off of it. But I think this turned out pretty good. I just love it so much. I thought this tree wasn't gonna work out, but for my small space, I feel like it did a pretty good job. So yeah, hope you guys like it. Let me know down below. So guys, I'm going to actually blow dry my hair because the curly hair is not gonna work right now because I'm gonna be heading over to my sister's house to help her prepare for like Thanksgiving meals that we're gonna bring to my cousin's house tomorrow. So I'm gonna actually sleep over there and it'll just be better if my hair is just straight instead of me bringing a bunch of stuff and washing my hair there because this is not gonna last by tomorrow. So we're gonna do the one step blow dryer thing and we're gonna see how it turns out and I will show you the end product. So let's go right into the time lapse. <laughs> I just finished my hair I kind of like it now my hair is very damaged as you can see because I have bleached it so I might have to go in with my flat iron which yes after Thanksgiving I'm just gonna wash my head again and just wear it curly um, but it's looking a little fluffy right now because of course it's not in the best condition but like up here where my hair is growing out, it actually smoothed it. And even though it's puffy, I think it's also because I didn't use it on the highest setting. I used it on medium. So that's probably a reason why. But I'm fine with it like this because I feel like it wasn't making my hair smoke as much like it usually does when I use this um, or the other one. And it wasn't too hot or like extremely loud. Like it was still loud, but it wasn't like horrible. But the top of my hair, like everything is basically dried and it only took me like what, 20 minutes, maybe like 15. Obviously the ends are going to be poofy. I got to add some oil and stuff in there, but it's not like horrible. I mean, my hair is probably the worst to obviously see all that breakage and stuff. I just need to do a big chop or something, <laughs> start over, but it worked enough for me to get it like volume up here. If you could see that, like more than enough volume <laughs> that I need. So I'm actually just gonna get ready and get dressed and just pack my bag and stuff and then I'll touch up my hair. I'll probably just like, or I could just leave it like this, put it in a bun so it'll say silky um, and like smoother, not silky, cause there's no way my hair's gonna be silky, but just like keep it smoother so then I can just do it in the morning. Cause I don't wanna keep adding heat on today and then still have to do it in the morning anyways um, or tomorrow whenever we leave. So I'm probably just gonna wrap it up in a bun or like a clip and then bring my flat iron with me for tomorrow and then we'll like touch it up then. So 
let's go get dressed and packed and i will show you guys my outfit probably even though it probably won't be exciting and then we will hit the hay so or the road not the hay and that means you're going to sleep yeah okay guys so i just got dressed i'm being super comfy i just put my hair in like this clip thingy um at the claw clip sort of thing i'm just wearing this like long thick cardigan that's almost like a jacket for me um that i got from target and i actually have another one that i am wearing tomorrow for thanksgiving i have this sweater that's like a side split sweater that i always wear i forgot where i got this from i think forever 21 or something years ago and then i have on like these disco like legging sort of things like shiny pants and these boots that i got from zara they're like a rain boot style boot um that i wanted last year and luckily they came back out with them um this is in a army-ish like olive green color i was gonna wear <laughs> these uggs right here so don't mind that but yeah it's just like these like rain boot style boots and um I actually, the jacket, or the other cardigan to this, don't mind my floor, it's really messy, I didn't finish <laughs> cleaning it up, but the other style of this cardigan are going to match these, like, really well, so that's why I'm wearing them now, because they're too bulky to, like, put in a bag or anything, but I'm obviously going to change out of them when I get to my sister's and put on, like, some slippers, sock things that I'm bringing. So, yeah, I am going to finish having my bag that I'm packing um, to finish drying because it was dirty i'm just gonna pack that real quick i have everything laid out and then i'm gonna be on my way which is when i will catch up with you guys so let's head to her house <laughs> to decorate some more Christmas stuff. So I'm gonna do a little time lapse of that. I didn't bring my other camera, but this'll do. We have a bad one right here, roaming around, trying to sniff the trees. But yeah, let's get decorating. So these are some of the decorations we're working with. We have a million and one bottle brush trees. And then we have these porcelain houses so this is gonna be like a wintry wonderland village and the tops are like glitter so this is what we're gonna be decorating it with so let's get into it <music> Um, 
cook the sides that we're bringing, which is yams and baked macaroni and cheese. So I'm gonna be doing that today. And then we're probably gonna leave around like four to head to my cousin's house. Um, I'm also gonna get them ready at some point today. <laughs> probably not right now. Um, I think I wanna order Starbucks or something. I don't know. I need coffee, that's for sure, but I'm also hungry, so we'll have to see. But yeah, I'm just gonna get myself together, get myself more awake, and then I will see what we are doing next. It's white outside And the night is cold Everyone's lighting candles in their homes Yes, it's Christmas It's a magic time You can feel it in the air That every child got their hearts filled up with joy Yes, it's all around All snow is falling down All the colored lights lighting up this town And as I walk outside Hear the Christmas choir sing Merry Christmas to you This time of year is a time to cheese. <laughs> 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 They finished at 2 minutes 43. You finished at 4.55. Yeah, I'm never, I'm never driving. <laughs> Ever. Guys, it is about almost 12 o'clock, I think. It's 11.31 p.m. I filmed very little bit of my Thanksgiving um, gathering because obviously Thanksgiving is where you spend time with family, so I just was doing that and just eating. So you basically saw the food and you saw a little bit of like the fun that I was having with that video game that my cousin had. But other than that, it was just chill time with the family. So wasn't much to share there. But yeah, I'm just gonna knock out for tonight. I'll pick this vlog back up tomorrow in the morning. But for now, I am done. <laughs> I'm so tired. I naturally woke up this morning at like 8 o'clock and it's already like 12 the next day. So I am dead. I don't want to sleep in tomorrow, but then I kind of can because it's only Friday, which is like confusing me. I feel like today's Saturday. Tomorrow's going to feel like a Sunday and then I'm going to be confused on Saturday. So at least that's a good thing though. Um, probably do some online shopping tomorrow for anything that is left. 
try to buy stuff on Zara, but by the time I went to check my cart, it was all out of stock. So I just gave up there. But I do have an order from Nasty Gal coming in. So I probably shouldn't be buying any more clothes, but I am in the hunt for a coat. So like a puffer coat as well as a like wool belted coat. So got to find one of those. But other than that, I'm going to hit the hay this time, said it correctly, and go to bed. So I can be a little bit more productive in the morning. So I will see you guys then. <laughs> yesterday because I woke up at about two o'clock in the afternoon so I almost did it today but I managed to get myself together I still woke up later than I wanted to I woke up at like 10 40 today um tomorrow I'm gonna aim for an earlier day because it is gonna be the last day of my mini vacation but um yeah I think today's goal is like to be more productive so I'm gonna try and clean up my apartment today um probably not right this second because I need to get myself together but yeah I'm gonna be cleaning up the apartment a bit I'm gonna finish doing some like Christmas shopping probably not finish because I still have other people to buy for that I don't know what they're asking for yet so so I have to wait on that but like for other people I'm gonna try and finish today if I can just because there's still like cyber weekend sales happening um I bought a few things yesterday so that was good but yeah it's gonna be like a chillax but productive day because I just want to clean in here so tomorrow I feel good that it's the last day of the weekend I have work the next day and just you know get into the groove of things but yeah I'm just gonna sip on my Chamberlain matcha for a bit which I've been loving I have two more coming today and I'm just gonna watch some YouTube maybe like one or two videos oh, I'm also gonna heat up some leftovers the last of my leftovers I still have macaroni and cheese left um, well baked macaroni and cheese that my sister made so I'm gonna eat the rest of that for a mini breakfast <laughs> slash brunch um, and then I'll start getting productive so yeah, let's get the day started. <music> later as you've seen I did clean up and I just ordered myself some dominoes I need to turn my heat off because I'm hot right now but I'm going to share with you guys what I got and I also want to share how my Christmas lights look now that it's all dark right now and then that'll be the end of this vlog because I probably won't be doing much tomorrow and tonight I'm just going to chill out and just probably watch a movie or a tv show or something and devour this food so what I normally get is like the $5.99 deal, even though majority of the time it's usually not $5.99. So I got the handmade pizza. I get it with extra, wait, is it the handmade? The handmade pan pizza. I get it with extra cheese and pepperoni on top because that's just what I like. And then this time I also got the... Let's see, I think this is the cinnamon twist. Oh no, I got cheesy bread as well. I don't know why they gave me so much ranch. I only put two on there, but I guess they're like, hey, 
might as well give you the extras so whatever i did my pizza in that i don't know if that's weird but i like to dip it in ranch and i only use the blue cheese for like wings and stuff i don't know if that's gross to anyone but yeah and then i was feeling a little bit on the sweet side even though right here i have all these sweets that i can eat but you know i was like let me treat myself so i got some Cine twist, which I used to like when I did it in like the cheesy bread form. Not really in like these twist things, but you know, I love Cinnabon and this is the closest I'll get to it right now because I don't really have any Cinnabons nearby. So yeah, I'm gonna devour that as well. So let me just share some of the Christmas lighting that I have set up in here. I wish I had a little bit more because I feel like my living room area isn't as bright as I want it to be, but I did buy some more like fairy lights for my garland. So let me just start off with the kitchen. So up here, I just have like this little Christmas tree house that I had for like two years now that I got from Target, I think. And I just feel like it adds a nice little glow to up there. And then in this corner, I just have like my candles and stuff. And then I have this Christmas tree, which I just have like fairy lights and I just put some bells on there recently, which I think it's really cute in this area i switched out like the peppermint candle because i don't know marshmallow fireside is one of my favorite so i'll be lighting that a lot more and honestly that opal house candle from target was not really that like scented like the throw of it was not that strong so yeah we're gonna stick with this one even though i know bath and body works candles are not the best for you so maybe if i go to tj maxx again i'll probably find some like soy ones and see how those work I'm skipping past my Christmas tree for a second, but up here I just have one of those like outdoor light sphere things that I got or like stars. Um, I put it up here. I had a wreath up here, but it just fell. So I just put this up there and says to see how I like it. I don't know how I feel as a little bit of like something to this wall, but I might put the wreath back up and figure out where to put this. Maybe like hang it in the window or something. I don't know, but for now that's where it's going to stay. And then up here is just the like makeshift mantle shelf thingy. So I have like the target houses that I turn the lights on. I wish they were like timer or something because you have to flick each and every one on every single day and turn them off. So it's kind of annoying. So I'll probably only keep them lit for like Christmas week. And then if I have like events at my house, um, I'll be doing like a secret Santa. So I'll probably turn them on then. And then I just have the garland from Studio McGee and Threshold. And I just put some fairy lights in there. Um, I actually bought timer ones because this one is not timer. So I bought like three of those. So I'll put like two in here to make it like more bright. And then I'll put the other one like somewhere else. We'll figure that one out. And then finally, I have the Christmas tree. So this is how it looks all lit up at night. Let me just move over to here. So I have like the other star thing on top as a tree topper. I did buy another one from Target. Um, it was on sale for Black Friday, so I'll see how that works. It's like a bronze, like antique looking style star. So it actually has like a clip this time. So you could just clip it on. So we'll see how that works. But the lights look really pretty. I love like these gumdrop sort of lights. I know the camera is like weird because these are LED. So it's like kind of strange on the camera, but I just feel like it looks so nice like these lights are the perfect like size for this they're like little gumdrop lights so it's just really pretty so yeah guys that is going to be the end of this vlog hope you guys enjoyed it i know it wasn't really super eventful with thanksgiving but you know once again i was trying to enjoy my time with my family but don't be sad because <laughs> vlogmas starts next week so i don't know exactly how i'm doing it probably four vlogs for the month you know like weekly vlogs because the daily thing is not gonna work for me i've learned that the hard way from my earlier vlogmas but if you want to you can always go back to those older videos and binge watch them if you like to see how i've grown on this channel it's very scary to go back and look at those videos but yeah i'll probably just be doing weekly vlogs of course um hopefully the first week will be very eventful because a lot of stuff is happening then and like the middle of the month i'm not really sure but definitely the first week will be more exciting um but i'll try to make it exciting you know i have some gingerbread houses i want to build um maybe find some activities to do maybe go ice skating we will see the possibilities are endless so i'm gonna devour this pizza and i will see you guys in the next one
Bye.